Shalom, all praises to you, Al Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash, the honors to the elders, apostles, the great most known, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Well, I just wanted to do this video revealing the true identity of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai, who the world perceives as this guy, says Ray Borgia. And with this image also comes this false image and um false identity comes um a false mo false qualities false traits of the son of the heavenly father you know they depict him as being all love all warmth you know being weak being um recessive because with this uh leprous tone that you know come on man that's recessive a re recessive trait and the list goes on this is the real image of of who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ whose name is yahweh shai who's a so-called black man from the nation of israel a judite from the nation of israel okay and with this comes his qualities his traits and his mo his modus operandi, the mode in which he operates in, okay? And also, on what he's going to do. Because when we look at these scriptures, it all culminates into the return of, of Yahweh Shai. And if you think his return is going to be um, something of a passive nature, or you think it's going to be anything but violence and bloodshed, then you're sadly mistaken. We're going to bring it out in the scriptures to prove so. Isaiah 63 says, Who is that that cometh from Edom? Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Edom is the dwelling place of Esau. And Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white man. Edom refers to the nation of Caucasians, the, the entire so-called white race. Okay, with dyed garments from Basra, Basra being the chief um, city of Esau. Basra represents America. America is the chief seat of Esau right now. And he has dyed garments. Let's see why. That this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? It's questioning why uh, Yahweh Shai's garments are going to be uh, splattered with red liquid. Okay? And he asked him because it looked like he was stomping in the grapes. The wine fat is a big vat of grapes that because he used to stomp out to produce wine. He says, I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will shed them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain my raiment. So, Yahawashai, it's referring, it's in reference to Yahawashai getting the blood of the people down here on this earth, man. Yahweh Shai's enemies. You people that didn't want to follow the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, you people that blatantly um, serve Satan and blatantly defy the Heavenly Father, man. You know, he's going to sprinkle his blood all upon his garments, man. And that's just metaphorical because... When you look at the way that he's coming back and the weapons that he's going to be using, which is ultimately just the manipulation of the elements, he's not going to get your blood on him. He's going to vaporize you um, every, every time he attacks, you know. There's going to be nothing left, no blood left to get on, on his garments, man. He's going to dematerialize um, any, anybody that it's fucking hit with with Yahweh Shai, man. With his attacks. 
the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. Okay. Isaiah 66 and 15, for behold, the hour will come with fire. Salakia, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. You see? So they always thought that the, that Yahweh Shai was going to come down to unite all the fucking peoples of the earth to kumbaya into the kingdom, man. To hold hands, give each other hugs, and just unite up. But that's completely contrary to the scriptures, man. Most High is going to destroy billions of people, man. Yahweh Shai, bro. The Most High is going to send Yahweh Shai to just completely fucking destroy this place, man. Okay? With flames of fire, bro. Let's go into what that is. It says in 2nd Edris 13 and 9. And lo... Let's start up at let's let's quick read through this. Second it just thirteen, and it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night, and lo there arose a wind from the sea and there and that it moved all the waves thereof, and I beheld, and lo that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look all the things trembled that were seen under him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. So Yahweh is coming back on a, char on a chariot, which is what the world um, misconceives as a, uh, a, Uf a UFO. They ignorantly call it a UFO. But when you look at throughout the scriptures, um, Yahweh and his angels, the Heavenly Father's angels, always had a mode in which they uh, tra they used transportation. Their mode of transportation was what the world thinks is a UFO, okay? A flying saucer. The scriptures, uh, the, the scriptures outline what the angels, the Heavenly Father's angels, and the heavenly bodies, what they travel in, okay, their mode of travel. And it's a chariot, man, a will within a will, all throughout the scriptures, man. So when that, when he most when Yahushai comes down on that chariot, he's gonna be zapping people with concentrated fire. Look at that. It says, Whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Okay? So they're gonna be getting zapped. With laser beams by the chariot of Yahweh Shai. Let's jump down to 11. And they. Okay, let's, let's jump down to 10. But only I saw that he sent out his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. And out of his lips a flaming breath. And out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. That's dead. Further reveals um, and explains exactly what I just said. Most High is going to be um, fucking dematerializing people. He's vaporizing people with the laser beams, man. And they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest. And fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. And burned them up, every one, so that upon... A sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and the smell of smoke. <laughs> when I saw this, I was afraid. So, when you look at Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was depicted as the Grim Reaper, you know, a man holding a sickle with a hood that come down to bring death. That that is who they depicted the Grim Ra Ra Reaper after. Is Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, because Yahweh Shai is coming to bring nothing but death on this planet. He's going to be killing billions of people, man. 
Okay, wipe out all you fucking infidels, the enemies of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. And it's only due, man. We can't wait for it. This is in uh, Revelation 14. And furthermore, when you look at Yahweh Shai, further revealing his true identity, you look at the death angel in Egypt um, during the plagues that the Most High sent upon them. That death angel that wiped out the firstborn of all creatures in Egypt was a Yahawashai, man. It was the world, and he calls Jesus. Yes, that's who he is. That's what he's about. Death and destruction of all them, of the, of the, of the uh, followers of the, the ones that refuse to follow Yahabashim Yahashai, pretty much. Okay? Enemies. This going into the amount of death, the the actual um, the the death toll, if you will, to give you a picture of how much bloodshed is going to be on this earth when Yahushai returns, and the wine press was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horses' bridles, by the space of a thousand and six furlongs. A horse's bridle is his back where a horse rider sits on the saddle, up to the saddle, okay? So when you look at rivers of blood that go up, say, pretty much to your, you know, to your shoulders, man. I saw a depiction, um, an article that said even if they were Shetland ponies, which is pretty much like a fucking a midget, a midget of the horse. Even if it was a Shetland pony, to have blood up to its up to its saddle, which would probably be up to our knees or something. That's a whole hell of a lot of death and bloodshed that the most high is gonna rot on this place, man. Huh? Let's bring out some more scriptures that reveal the true identity of Yahweh of Yahushai and what he's gonna do. Upon his return, man. Okay. But those mine enemies, Luke nineteen twenty seven. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you read scriptures like this, you realize that the Christian church, um. They just cherry picked the entire time. They took the so called feel good, warm, fuzzy scriptures, they cherry picked them out and formed a whole doctrine after that, which is plantation Christianity, the Christian church. They cherry picked a few scriptures, butchered them, and created the whole Christian doctrine after it. Okay? But that's not who, who, who so called Jesus is, man. Okay, he's about the death and destruction of his enemies, man. If if you don't want the heavenly Father and His Son to reign over you, the Most High is going to behead you, man. And that that is just um, metaphorical for death, because scriptures reveal that you people are going to feel the death by pain in a very gruesome way, a very diverse manners of death the most high is prepared for you people man and look what it says it says bring them hither bring hither so and, and slay them before me so when you read this you got to realize that he's giving an order to somebody who is he giving an order to to bring hither and slay because he's not doing the killing in this verse let's read who who that's going to be Jeremiah 16 and 16, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. So, Yahweh Shai's men, his disciples, which are um, translated into his men down here, his elect, okay, his elect, just as we're fishing right now, to wake you you people up, 
to wake the nation of Israel up to to um, potentially to um, to seal this elect as quick as possible now we're fishing so it's a depiction of a nonviolent gathering okay a nonviolent um, gathering unto Yahweh okay we're fishing them to come back to Yahweh but there be a time when Yahweh Shai is going to send forth his men to kill to do exactly what he's going to do upon his return he's going to send out his men to destroy whoever is left on the earth after this destruction man okay this is who Yahweh Shai is about this is what Yahweh Shai is about man let's go into his return what it's going to look like Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all of the <laughs> and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. This scripture right here alone proves exactly what this video is about. Proves the true nature of Yahweh Shai. And what it's going to look like upon his return is it's going to be it's going to be terrible man a terrible time death and destruction is going to reign in the society upon his return man that's why the whole all kindreds on the earth are going to wail because of him man okay let's go here Jeremiah 25 and 33, and the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one of the earth even unto another end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Death and destruction is coming to this place, man. Most High is about to annihilate this, this society, you know, from, from, uh, from fucking, from California, Slovakia, from, from the U.S. to Russia, from the U.S. To from from Alaska to Australia, the Most High is going to annihilate this place, man. Of course, preserving a few areas, but for the most hard part, this place needs uh, uh, the reset, man. The Great Reset. That's what yeah, how is re Great Reset is being prepared for this motherfucker. Okay, we're going to end it off right here. In Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I am not. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And when you break down a sword in the scriptures, in um, there's different translations for sword, but the sword in this scripture means a killing instrument, an instrument of death. That's what the Most High is bringing to this place man and when you look at what's going down right now natural disasters uprisings of the people you know plagues and pestilence uh, economic downfall wor world war proxy wars when you look at everything that's happening on the earth today you realize that the most high is ushering in the destruction at a very rapid rate so it behoove of, of us to stay grounded in this truth you know stay strong in this faith keep fighting you know and hasten to the day we have Yahweh Shai's return the annihilation of all the workers of iniquity and of all sinners man so with that call all Yahweh Shai Shalom